Today I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to make cursors, custom cursors for both Windows Vista and Windows XP. Now before we show you how to do it, we'll show you how to change your cursors. This is Cursor FX from Stardock. It replaces Cursor XP, which was a very, very popular um, utility for changing your cursors. Now as you see here, you can change your cursors to one of many available. A lot of them have some really, really cool animations to them. Now these are just some that are included with the application. There are hundreds, if not thousands, available on websites such as WinCustomized.com. And if you want to change back to the Windows default, just double click it. And there you go, you're right back to it. But anyways, we'll go into that another time. But what's new with Cursor FX is you have a dedicated theme editor this time. It's much more easier laid out, it just looks a lot nicer, and it's a lot easier to make cursors now. Now I can show you how to put the cursor together, but you need to do the graphics on your own. You need you can do it in PaintShop Pro, Photoshop, Paint.net, even Microsoft Paint if you want. The important thing is you get your image and it needs to be in a PNG format, which will the advantage of that is it's gonna save the transparency. Once you have your graphics created, it's pretty easy to put the cursor together. As you see, we have all the cursor states that are available to change. You have the help select, the working, busy, um, the buttons, text select, all the different states of cursors you see. For the example today, we'll do the normal select, which is the normal cursor you see most of the time. We just head over here and we'll hit import graphics. And we'll just browse over to my desktop where I have a just a simple image, nothing fancy, just for demonstrations. And we'll import it, and as you see, it pops right up. Now that we have our image imported, we want to set the hotspot for it. Now the hotspot is the part that's what you're actually going to be clicking. So we'll just put our little hotspot at the very tip of our cursor, and we'll just click. And over here, you can uh, refine the position even more, center it if you want. And you just repeat these steps for every other cursor here. Now what we're viewing now is the normal cursor state. Now you can also add another image state, the press cursor, so when you press the cursor it'll display another image. It's pretty good for giving it a, a cool little effect. And you just do it, you import the images and, and set the hotspots the same way as we saw before. If you don't like your image here, if you want to change it, you can also come down here and just click remove this cursor or just import another image over it. If you want to do animations, you'll need a, uh, a strip of images, a strip of PNG images. I'll go into animations more in another tutorial, but if you have those images and you already know how to do that, you can set the frames. You want to match the frames to however many frames are in your animation. You can set it to loop. You can put your interval between frames, which will determine uh, the speed of how it's going to look. You can alternate the animation. And if you um, have uh, a separate animation, you can enter it here. As you can see here, we also have uh, the, the Cursor FX theme editor also has uh, effects for trails and special effects. We'll get in, more into that in other tutorials, but today I just wanted to show you the basics of creating your um, cursor. So when you have everything complete, you just simply go up here to File, you can Save As, just name your cursor, it'll save it. and then in your cursor FX panel you'll see it right here this is my demo cursor you can just double click it'll apply of course this is a demo cursor it only has one but you can see the full strips here and that's about it so it's pretty simple to create your own cursors and you can read the full tutorial on how to create your own cursor at the links at the end of this video